So this is how I make oxalic acid sponges. First you take vegetable glycis glycycerin. I can't say it very well, I'll show the name of it here. And you do 500 grams. This is to do 10 hives. And this is Randy Oliver's recipe. So I get it to 500 grams right here. A little over, but that's okay. <clears throat> so here it is. Vegetable glycycerin. I got it on Amazon. Then you need to get 500 grams of oxalic acid. I also bought this on Amazon. 10 pound bag. Add your glycerin into the metal pan. Then I just use a scooper and I scoop it out the oxalic acid get that to 500 grams as well so it's a one-to-one -one ratio is what you're going for and this mixture will do like I said 10 colonies or about 20 sponges um, I use the Swedish sponges off of Amazon and I just cut them in half that's the same ones Randy Oliver recommends. He also recommends you can use other things, cardboard, shop towels, stuff like that. But I personally like the sponges the best. So once I get this here to 500 grams, we take this and we add it to our pan. Okay, there's the 500 grams. Now we will take this and dump it into the glycerin. And I got the glycerin a little bit warm to start with. So then mix it in here. This takes about 15 minutes, 20 minutes for it to dissolve. But you want to get it mixed in as best you can like this. And then as, you, as it goes on, you'll see how it changes into a liquid. You gotta continue, not continuously stir it, but occasionally stir it, break the clumps up, you'll get some clumps. Lots of good stirring. Oh yeah, there's one. Get that spot, break it up. Okay, then I check temperature. You don't wanna go above 130 degrees. I start it slow, you can see it's still pretty um, thick there. And it's not, see there, it's clearing up a little bit. Foggy is the word I was looking for. So I get it to about 120, 125-ish. See there, it's, there it's good now. That's nice and how it should be. Then I just start dropping the Swedish sponges in this pan. Those are the Swedish sponges I used, cut in half. Just off Amazon. Then I drop two, three, four, whatever, however many. Let them soak it up good. And then as I'm putting these in my plastic container, a lot falls to the bottom of my plastic container. So when I'm done putting a bunch in there, I take and dump it out of my plastic container back into the metal pan. And that allows me to get a few more sponges. But doing it this way, it actually works out almost perfect. But there you go. There's oxalic acid sponges ready to be used. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment.